Okay, so here is how I prepare the syringe with peas and Epsom. So I grab some tank water and put it aside. I have my syringe and I'll put that aside. We have our Epsom salt, so we grab a few granules from there. Like so. And maybe too many there. I'll pick the largest ones I can find. Like that. And we crush. It doesn't take much for the Epsom to become fine powder. Then I'll just go and get my peas. Squash those down, make them very soft. By the way, these I boiled in some tank water on the stove. Right, so we've squashed all that down. Scoop it all up, add it to, to the Epsom. Squash all that down as well. Make sure that it's got lots of consistency throughout the mixture. Scoop all that up. In the syringe. Now, you can feed when it's like this, it'll actually come out, no problems. But I would prefer for it to be this much water, shake it, you see how now it's a consistent paste kind of thing. Now if you want you can feed your fish so it will come out like that. You want to give them that much at a time allow them to chew see like that so basically until all the green is gone. There you have it. They're not going to eat all of that. Most likely um, it will uh, come out of their mouths or their gills while they're eating because it's very, very um, liquidy. Um, so you really want to feed them the entire two peas, but you need to understand that um, it, they're not actually going to consume the entire two peas, so it's not um, it's not as if you're overfeeding them. So there you have it.